you're a teacher by now, yeah. and you're teaching in this system, yeah. what kind of school were you teaching in? Well, in um, my first job was in what was called a central school, a rather unusual one in London. And I was there for some considerable time. And these are the ones who had just failed the 11 plus. So we were able to give them a kind of semi-grammar school education. We got some pretty good exam results. Uh, and then I, I went abroad to Germany and lectured at the university in Germany. And when I came back, came to Brighton and went to uh, Dorothy Stringer School, which was a secondary modern school. Uh, and I've written about it in my poem, which I shall read later. Uh, and uh, the whole point was that you had, first of all, to get hold of those children, and you had to absolutely convince them that it wasn't easy, having failed the 11 plus, that they could if they would. If they really wanted to, they could do just as well as the kids who passed the 11 plus. And uh, it's very difficult to make them believe that. After all, some officials had told them they couldn't. And this is why my uh, dislike of the selective system really burdened. I mean, I felt that uh, the arrogance of saying that you know what a, a person's whole intellectual development is going to be. You know, uh, Professor Himmelwhite uh, did a, a, a study in London, 500 children at the age of 11, all from various different parts of London and therefore under different educational authorities with different, uh, and this is another key factor, each educational authority has a, a, a different number of grammar school places. They haven't all got the same proportion of grammar school. So what she discovered is that people who got the same intelligence quotient, as it was called, in one borough went to grammar school. People with the same intelligence quotient in a, different borough, uh, in a different borough, they went to secondary modern because there weren't enough grammar school places. Uh, how can that possibly be justified? But she then went on to trace the career of all those 500 right until their 25th birthday. And she discovered that those with exactly the same intelligence quotient who'd gone to grammar school did far better in life than those who'd gone to secondary modern school. Do you need any further proof than that of the fallacy of the whole thing? And when I came back to, I came to Brighton, back from Germany where I was lecturing, uh, knowing that there were comprehensive schools in various parts. And I found to my utter alarm, not only were they still the selective system in Brighton, but even teachers who should know better were talking about, oh, we you know, those factory schools, which is what they call the comprehensive. 